Oh, yeah. That's what daddy needs right there. At least four of those. It's gonna be good, though, I think. Oh, yeah. Baby girl. Good morning. Oh, we got a project today. It's got your name written all over it. Oh, shit. What's happening, everybody? I'm Street. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Stank Stories. We got a project for silver today. And now, I know some of you guys are against the whole Plasti Dip thing, but I looked up the blacked out emblems for this, and they were like 180 bucks, and I have to buy tools in order to install it. So, I have a can of Plasti Dip in the cabinet, and I'm gonna put it on the ride, and some of you are gonna praise me, and some of you are not. So, <laughs> I've dipped my last four rides, and I really like the way it turned out. Um, and as long as you do a good job, man, it can last for years and years and years without really any fuss. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get the car masked, and then uh, we're going to start spraying. And I will show you guys the whole process that I use to do it. Um, and then we'll show you the afterward results. Stick around. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below on what you wanted to see me do next with this. Do you want me to tint windows, or do you want me to wrap the roof black? I'm thinking tint windows for sure. Um, but I'm thinking about wrapping the roof black here pretty soon too. All right guys Let's get at it. All right So what we're claiming today is we're going to black out the 5-0 badges We're also going to black out the pony up in the front and then uh, I, I don't know yet I think I'm gonna leave the GT on the rear end for now Because um, it just blings nice back there and I'm proud of the fact that it's a GT You know what I'm saying the 5-0s are just gonna be more boldened and black um, but you're going to subdue the GT if you make it black. And I don't think I want to do that. But that pony's going to go black too. That'll make the, the front end just look nice and aggressive. Just be all blacked out coming at you. Oh yeah, and then when I pass you, you can stare at that GT emblem. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and get this masked up and let's get this going. Alright, so first things first, you want to get some alcohol. Just some simple rubbing alcohol. A lot of people will tell you like very specific types, but... I'm all about just the alcohol. Um, you know, some doesn't leave a film and things, and some just like does no residue, but I don't know. I've never had a problem with it, dude. I just clean the hell out of it. Use a microfiber cloth to, uh, to polish it off and get all the lint and things. So we're going to do that to all the emblems and get them all clean. And then uh, we'll go ahead and show you how I mask it off. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to mask it off. So I grab a uh, garbage bag, just a tall kitchen bag, and I cut it in half. Cut a little hole in the middle. And that way you can just tape it all around that. That way it gives you some overspray protection, but you know, it's not, not too tedious. Remember, you want some overlap. You want to be able to spray in here because this is what peels away and breaks clean around the emblem so well. Kind of leave nice clean edges. All right, so same thing going on here. I cut a garbage bag, tall kitchen bag up, and uh, wrapped it around. This one's going to be much more tedious, though. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get as much masked in here as possible. Um, just kind of following the edge, but leaving a little bit of room. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and spray it, which should be pretty good. All right, we got it all masked off. So there's the 5-0. This one took some intricate work, <laughs> but we got it nice and uh, masked. I'm gonna go ahead and polish them one more time with the microfiber towel. And then there's the other 5-0. And then we're gonna start spraying. Let's do this. All right, see the first spray? The first spray is like a texture coating. It just gives it something to stick on to. So you don't wanna to go too crazy. It's really good for the first one. I'll 
let that dry for about 10 minutes, then we'll come back out. All right, so in about 15 minutes, we're gonna go with another coat. Remember to get at different angles. You wanna have the, the spray hitting it from different spots if you can. Um, so I like to switch it up. I do first, directly head on at first, and then I usually go from the top. Second coat there. All right, we have about six or seven coats. I think we might have did seven coats on these. Um, they're looking, looking pretty covered. I don't see any spots. I went at it each time from a different angle, um, straight on from the top, from the bottom, from the right to the left, and then rinse and repeat. So they're looking pretty good. I'm gonna give these about a half hour to an hour to dry, and then we'll peel them off and see how they look. It's gonna be beast. All right, let's start peeling away. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh, I got some overspray down here. Damn, I'm gonna have to rub that off. It's fine, it'll come off. Exacto knife, but like a, uh, a picker of some sort. Oh yeah, that's amazing. I love it. All right, so we'll have to get all around these little pieces of the black um, that go around the edge of it, but we'll get that off later. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of these up, and I'll show you guys what they look like when they're all done. All right, so what I did is I got a uh, tooth picker. I'm gonna kind of pull it away here from the insides. Just get it all peeled out, like that. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna do that for all the emblems and then uh, we'll have a final look at it. All right, dude, they came out really good. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, cutting out the red was really hard. Uh, it started tearing away at the edges and I had to kind of backfill and scrape it, but ultimately, it looks really, really good. We got the black five O's. The pony came out perfect. We got all the stuff around the edge off, and it just looked really, really clean. Get a good front end shock of that. Boom! Looks nice. And then we got the other five O. Same thing. That little red square was difficult. But we got it. <laughs> you're not gonna notice any imperfections now until it's until you're right up against it. Oh yeah, she looks nice. All right, guys, and that's the Plasti Dip session, man. It turned out really, really good. The key is you got to be patient. You got to have the right tools to do it. So I hope this helps some of you. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell for uh, more videos from me. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at silverstang 707 for daily content on the car. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.